Hi, I'm Dr. Sydney McElroy. I'm a family physician and I'm co-host of Sawbones, a marital tour of misguided medicine. Many of you have probably heard the recent recommendation from the CDC that we should wear some sort of cloth or homemade mask when it is necessary for us to go out in public. So I thought it was worth reviewing very quickly the use of a cloth mask and the proper donning and doffing, which is putting on and taking off of one of these masks. Uh, first of all, it's just very important to note that if you decide to use these masks, it's an added layer of protection on top of practicing appropriate social distancing and continuing with good hand hygiene. We should all be staying in as much as possible and this should only be used if you have to leave the house for some essential task or if you're an essential worker who must go out into the world to help us all. So first of all, before I would put on one of these masks, uh, and this so that you can see is a cloth mask that was graciously given to us made by one of our listeners. Uh, before you put on a cloth mask, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands either with soap and water for 20 seconds, or you can use some sort of hand sanitizer, which I'm just going to pretend so as not to use up. And you completely rub your hands until they're dry when you use it. Now you would pick up your cloth mask by the ear loops you don't wanna to touch your mask as much as you don't have to. And you're going to put it on your face. And this is your moment to adjust. If you have a tab here to tighten it over the nose, this one doesn't, but if you do, tighten it over your nose and make sure that it is pulled down underneath your chin and that it's completely covering your face as much as possible, accepting that these are going to have gaps unlike medical grade masks. Once it is on your face, you wanna do your best not to touch your mask at all. That's part of the benefit of one of these masks is that when you're wearing it, it's a reminder not to touch your face. It's also why I wear my hair pulled back a lot more now is it's one more reason that I might accidentally touch my face. So you wear your mask when you're out doing whatever your essential business is. When it comes time to remove your mask, two scenarios. Let's say one, it's the end of the day, you're going home, you're going to remove your mask for good for the day. The best thing to do is you get home, you wash your hands again, or use hand sanitizer, and then remove your mask, only touching the ear loops, and throw it directly into the washing machine. That's one option if you're done with your mask for the day, and you, then you wanna use a regular wash and dry cycle with your mask. If you need to take your mask off and you intend to put it back on again soon thereafter, so let's say you have to eat lunch, uh, what you want to do is, again, remove your mask by the ear loops after you've washed your hands. Place it on a paper towel that you've labeled with your name, just in case maybe other people are also using masks, with the outside down. It's very important that you keep the outside against the paper towel and not on any surfaces that it could contaminate, and not somewhere like this where you may be forced to touch it with your hands when you go to put it back on because then you've contaminated your hands. So this is the other option. And then once you have to put it back on again, only by the ear loops and replace it as you had it before. Uh, that is the important thing to remember with these cloth masks is that one, they do not completely protect you from either spreading the virus or getting the virus. So while they are an added layer of protection, they no way replace social distancing and hand washing. And two, once you've worn them out in the world, you have to consider that outside contaminated and you need to treat it like something that's been contaminated and make sure that it is washed and cared for appropriately so that you don't undo all the good you're doing by wearing the mask in the first place. If you want more information on how to wear these masks, make these masks at home, uh, cdc.gov has a wonderful section on the use of cloth masks, what they can and can't do, what their limitations are, what their pluses are, and how you can create one of these to use on your own. In the meantime, wash your hands, uh, stay safe. Thank you.